I've been teasing this video for a while and wanting to do it for even longer, but there's been a long time coming that this audio has been out there, okay? The guy who did this incredibly average, this dude has been doing the Yaoman's work, okay? He has got all of the recorded videotapes that are out there, okay? Or at least the recorded audio tapes as well. And he's also, you know, it enhanced the audio that's on it between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. Obviously, you know what the fuck we're talking about. But he's also provided subtitles. And this one right here is an hour long. We're not going to listen to all of it. I'm going to link to the video because it's incredible. It's incredible the work that this guy's done on his entire channel. He got the video recording. Or he, yeah, he got the recordings. Let's just go ahead and lay it out like that. He got the recordings. He did all the work and he deserves all of the fucking credit. I just want to go through and I want to touch on a couple of the things that makes this the most horrifying piece of evidence that has been put before this court now obviously we haven't heard an hour of the recording in the court and but we have heard some of it and like i said this is the most horrific horrific evidence that's out there that uh, it's a point of no return for me this is where amber heard is 100 percent confirmed to be the abuser in this situation you can't convince me otherwise okay she admits to hitting Johnny multiple fucking times. And this is also the audio that is, it, it, it has that, that cackle that will haunt me, will haunt me forever, which when we initially heard it in court during Amber Heard's cross-examination, I rem I, I will never forget where I was, okay? I was doing dips at the time and then I, I just had to get off of the power cage for a minute and then I just sat and look at my phone for a minute and just had this kind of cocked expression while I was listening to it for a couple of minutes and it didn't sit right it really didn't sit right so I want to go back and I want to listen to some of this and uh, drag you through this hell as well now I've done I haven't listened to all of it okay I want to go into this as dry as possible and thankfully there are some timestamps in the description here and again this is incredibly average link to the video of course and like I said I'm only going to play a little bit of it it's going to be sped up a bit so that we can just go through it so that I don't totally ruin the experience but if you have the time to listen to all of it okay and if you don't want it sped up or anything like that feel free to go back to that I, I'm totally fine if I'm going to be a pastor if I'm just bringing this information to you guys okay because he deserves like i said all the credit on this but there's some timestamps that we're going to go through and then just taking a look at the different timestamps and everything that's on here <sighs> it's worse than what i could anticipate but uh, I, I think it deserves cat categorizing so this is going to be like a quasi reaction video okay where we're going to play some of it i'm going to add some commentary over the top of it or maybe stop and pause and just let it play out okay i don't know how well this is gonna work i have the idea for the video and we'll just fucking see how it rolls so again like the title of the video implies amber heard and johnny depp the real abuser finally revealed uncensored audio okay it's got all the fun words in it all the fucks all the shits all the suck my dicks all of that is in there okay and all the Aquamans in it as well. But it won't quite sound like that. Because like I said, I have it sped up. Just for time convenience sake. So I'm going to mute myself. We're going to play a little bit of this. And um, I don't know. Just kind of watch for facial expressions. And I'll just pause every once in a while. To talk over top of it, shall we? Alright, let's get going. But every time you don't like what I say. And you fucking run away. we will never work out anything. You can't run away every fight. You can't. It's easy. It's, it's not brave. It's not strong. It's harder to say to somebody, I want to work this out. I want to face what I have. I want to face what you have. I want to work it out with you. You're not working it out. You're running away. And then you make me be a bigger person every single time and come to you and knock on the door and come to this house and say, hey, we're married. It's supposed to be sacred. Calm I down. Calm you. down. I made you. Yes, by default. If you're never the one to do it, one of us is. And I'm the one to do it every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship. And you get to be not, you get to be lazy. You get to be cowardly. I don't want to do there's a lot to unpack there, and I'm pretty sure that we've heard this throughout the trial at a couple of times. She said this is they're discussing just general fights at this point, okay? And she's accusing Johnny of being cowardly from being like, okay, this is an unwinnable situation. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk over I'm gonna walk away from this. I'm gonna remove myself from the situation. But apparently, like she said here, it's cowardly to be doing that. We'll just run that back here real quick. Just try to find that point where it's a uh, yeah talking about and it's like listen you're psychotic i'm i i can't fucking deal with you okay saying that it's not brave and it's not strong to just fucking leave the situation 
you're insane. You're fucking insane, dude. Every time. It means I'm the bigger person every time. It means I have to be the strong one. It means every time I have to fight for our relationship. And you get to be not... You get to be lazy. You get to be cowardly. I don't know what are you here for? What do you need me Once for? again, I am fighting for the relationship. With a guy that you don't fucking trust or like? What? I did not say I didn't like you. I love you. You're my favorite person in the world. I, don't see how I remember what I said at the beginning. I'm sorry you feel like you can't imagine it. But I said this to you at the beginning of this conversation. I said you're my favorite person in the world. If you weren't the most magnetic, shiny, beautiful, interesting, dynamic person I'd ever met in my life. Doesn't this sound like the type of conversation you'd be having with somebody who is the quote unquote favorite person in the world? I'm not entirely sure about that, but hey, uh, then again, I wouldn't possibly be able to put myself in the shoes of Amber Heard. I couldn't take it for that long. Anyways. It would be so easy to walk away from this bratty thing that you untrustworthy, do. Untrustworthy. Uh, um, uh, Did you hear what I just said? Yeah. I said I can't trust. I can't trust. That's not meaning you're untrustworthy. It means we've created a situation. And I'm telling you what you do to create it too. We've created a situation in which there, there cannot, trust can't grow. It's like, it's trampled every single time. And we need a marriage. That's why I sat down. Do you not remember me sitting down at the very beginning of the conversation saying, just that to you. Say, I know you got married for security and for safety. So did I. We did not get married because it was something that we we're doing. You know, for, because it was something we walked away. We wanted the state, the foundation. No? I won't. Yes, I wanted to make you my wife. Yes, yes, but you could just have me as your girlfriend if you didn't want the foundation. And you told me, and maybe you go back on it now. Fine, okay, cool. Lie about that. I don't know. You told me you wanted a foundation. You told me you wanted the security. You wanted the safety. You liked the foundation. At the beginning, you said, I really like having that. It feels safe. So oh, don't argue oh. with me when I say it now. I'm not arguing with you. Oh, yeah, but you had to pick it apart. This is a weird line of argumentation. Obviously, we're going to find that out a couple of different times that we're uh, doing this. But um, saying that Johnny wanted the security of a relationship, okay, being married and all that stuff, he, he was lining that out and he was laying that out for everybody. But. Why was it that he was been in multiple relationships beforehand? Yes, he was married briefly in the mid eighties, right? Bruce Whitkin, uh, the Kramer there from last Thursday, his stepsister, or not stepsister, sorry, sister-in-law. Okay, they were married for a minute back then, but then Johnny just also recently got out of the relationship with Vanessa Paradis, who he, you know, they created two children, Jack and uh, Lily Rose. They never got married. Something doesn't click here, okay? I'm a little bit concerned. I want to jump ahead to the point where it just further crystallizes the absurdity of the situation, okay? Because we've laid the foundation that Johnny, whenever the situation gets a little bit too tenuous, it gets a little bit too hot, he wants to, you know, de-escalate the situation by just walking away. It further is crystallized by the fact that Amber just outright comes and says, well, Johnny doesn't want to fight. What do you mean I don't fight for you? you don't, I, everything I've already explained. No, fight, no fight for you. I don't understand. You never, that? ever do the work. Put in the work. If we're arguing about something, you don't ever try to get to the bottom of it, figure out, make the peace. You want to make it easy on you, so you split. You don't fight. You want to make it easy on me, so you just split. You don't fight. Yeah, exactly. Why are you angling for a fight, first and foremost, you fucking weirdo? Instead of trying to come to a situation, maybe trying to understand both parties so that you don't have to escalate the situation. Because at this point, okay, like the video here, Incredibly Average's video, uh, or January 31st of 2020, you can't quite see it. But you can see it if you click through, which again, I totally recommend. But this is recorded, according to him, and of course, he has access to all the original audio, okay? It was recorded just months before they filed for divorce in May of 2016. Okay, so in the midst of all of the aftermath of Australia, okay, Johnny's hand theoretically should still be in a cast in some form or fashion, right? So all of the fighting has crescendoed to a point where this is just absurd, okay? But yet, okay, all of the horrific acts that Amber has alleged so far, she's the one who's still angling for a fight after going through all of this stuff? Doesn't add up now, does it? We'll just let this run just a little bit more because boy, does it get spicy here in a moment. Fight for me. You don't fight when there's a problem. You don't come to me. You don't uh, uh, make peace with me. You never extend an olive branch. You're never the bigger guy. You're never the one that's like, okay, I'm gonna put my own feelings aside for a second and say, this is bigger than us. Let's stop fighting. You never are the one to come and knock on my door. You take me for granted. It's not true. It's not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and that's different. That's different. That's, different. Else at me. That's, that's different. That's what. It's not true. I'm not the one who fucking throws fucking pots and. That's different. Let's just clear that up here for one fucking second, okay? Take a look at the subtitles that's on this, okay? So th they're talking about, oh my god, you never come and see me whenever we're having an argument. You never come and knock on my door. Which really, you know, it just lends to the credibility that Amber Heard had to barricade herself in order to hide away from Johnny Depp, the angry monster who would ever come out, right? Uh, she's the one who's perfectly fine, you know, wherever she's at, okay? After Johnny leaves and then comes back, okay, in order to resolve this the fight that's happening right he's the one who's having to dodge 
like he says here, uh, I'm not the one who fucking throws the fucking pots and whatever the fuck else said to me. And then Amber's like, Th that's different. That's different. No, it's different when we escalate to that point. It's different because who's the real monster here? That's different. That's different. That's, different. that's one does not negate the other. That's irrelevant. It's a complete non sequitur. Just because I've thrown pots and pans does not mean that you vases. come and knock on the door. Just because there are vases. Just Don't forget the vases. Never forget the vases. But isn't that kind of like an admission of domestic violence? I don't know about you, but uh, shit's not really lining up now, is it? Well, of course not. It does not mean that you come and knock on the door. I should just let you throw. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. You're putting words in my mouth and then making well, non-sequiturs. I'm giving you a situation. No, you're trying to justify how you don't or do come to the door. No, based I'm, on justifying, the it's no I'm justifying how you come to the door. No, based, I'm on based on whatever I throw, pots or pans, it's irrelevant. What about the vases, though? What about the vases, dear? What about the vase of cocaine? <laughs> yeah, sure. Justify it's no, I'm justifying how you... you, you seem to think that there's this cowardice in me that runs away and I don't fight for you. And you're justifying that by saying I throw pots and pans? Okay, cool. Let's no, talk about everything you do wrong. I'm not the one who fucking did that. I don't fucking, I didn't. So that makes, so that makes sense. So that I, that's no. clear. Yeah. Do I, do, the only time I ever threw anything at you was when you fucking you, threw the cans at me in Australia. Why are you? The only time I ever threw something at you, which wasn't disputed, or at least it hasn't been so far in the audio. I did stop it. Okay. The only time that I ever threw something at you was in Australia after you were throwing the cans at me. You remember the Australia pictures, right? Where there's cans and glass all over the floor and some intermittent little blood blood spills, which Amber would allege, at least on the stand, that that was from her, you know, previously raped vagina. And then also from, uh, yeah, the horrific three days long beating. Huh. Huh. Interesting. You know what? Honestly, because there's such a time discrepancy between the two with the rest of the court case here. There's 10 hours left. I'll just play this entire fucking video, okay? You got the entire unedited audio. It's about an hour long, okay? It doesn't have any of the subtitles or any of the busts in. So why not just play this for everybody and then just have fucking Camille and the other fucking... I just have the entire plaintiff's team just come up and fucking dance however they want to and just play this video because it's it's damning. It's, like even so far, like we've only been just a little bit into this, but fucking wild dude. And I'm looking at some of the timestamps also on my phone here so to just follow along because screens and shit. If I had more screens, this would be easier to do. But I'm taking a look at some of these timestamps and buddy, are we in for a fucking ride? trying to justify who throws things based because on whether or that, not you come knocking on the door. And because that is a fucking irrational and violent fucking maneuver. How so a man would want to other? get out of that area so that he doesn't get so fucking angry that he actually does pop the fucking wife. Uh, how does one inform the other? Oh, man. Go home and listen to the tape. Please. That's what they're for. Yes. You listen to the fucking tape. Oh, I'm gonna. So will I. And here we have Amber admitting to throwing pots, pans, vases, and a variety of other things at Johnny, but claiming it's irrelevant to her complaint that he splits because of the attack, and then doesn't come to her to work it out after having the pots, pans, vases, and cans thrown at him. Yeah, that's my dude here just summarizing exactly what we've been walking through, so at least I'm not out of my head. Like I said, I didn't watch through all of this or any of this, okay? So I'm not getting the wrong interpretation of these facts, okay? He's telling us exactly what's on the up and up here, but we're going to go ahead and jump ahead just a little bit, okay? To a point in time that you guys are probably going to remember fairly well. It's so fucking pointless and you know what to say and fight about fucking whatever you think happened with Charlie. This is no. a conversation. Listen, we I was not lying. I'm not going you to. You lied, you're asshole. You're fucking full of shit. What lie? When? Hmm? What conversation did I have with Travis? I have a big, big investigative study you've done. I'm not sitting here no, fighting with you about the, with the you. fight that After we had last night. After you got physically violent with me, I texted Travis. I said, come up here because I didn't want anything to happen. I mean, yeah. mm -hmm. Just come to watch, save me. No, go ahead, continue. You, you, you. Travis did the best. No, that, that was the last one. You can go. The mocking is beginning. Go, uh, you go. That was the last insult. You call me a liar yet? Yeah. Yeah. I watched you lie. You me a I don't know exactly what that is, but it sounds like somebody's starting to throw some shit, so pay attention to how this develops, I, I suppose. Liar. I watched you lie. I You're heard it. I was right there. There's no, you still haven't told me what lie it is. We'll but yet, every single fucking time. We'll you know you do this every single fucking we'll time. Talk to I'm not fucking talking to nobody. No, Fuck that. You go fucking, fucking jerk. Go jerk him off. I don't care. I really don't care. It's funny, right? Because I pointed this out in a couple of my earlier reviews of some of the trial. There has only ever been aggressive, violent sexual contact between the two. At least that's what Amber has alleged. And it's like every single time that she just devolves into one of these fucking tirades, it always involves sex in some sort of a derogatory fashion. Like, oh, jerk off Travis. At least we know, hey, if he goes and jerks off Travis, he won't have to look for any sort of you know, fucking cleanup material because he's got that nice long wizardy beard. Anyways. Care less. It's you every single time. You latch onto some sort of thing. When I already told you, I don't know what you're fucking talking about. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is. But run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, no, I said to you, Hey, okay. tell Travis what just happened. You, well, you told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the right. fucking thing. And you, you spit in the face. Out. And you said, no, fuck it. I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie. You. And then I, I, I said, by the way, you, I'm sorry that I didn't 
uh, you uh, hit punch you me. across the face in a proper slap. But I'm just kidding you. It was not punching you. But you're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You no, even a lot of guys have been around a long time. So I don't no, when you fucking have a closed fist. You get punched. Not hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. But I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you I don't know what you. the boat motion of my actual hand was. But you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your toes? I'm not saying you're bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical fights? You're a fucking baby! Grow the fuck up! Because you start please. physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, what, what's your excuse? When there's not so jumping ahead a little bit, uh, just to, we're going to go ahead and move up to a flight now. Well, after laying out the fact that um, everybody's heard this audio ad nauseum at this point, it's amazing how many times this has been played and the fact that anybody still might have some lingering assertions outside of mass media that think that... Um, Amber Heard wasn't the out-and-out -out, uh, abuser at this point because she's admitted to it how many times, even just during this recording. And there's multiple recordings, of course, but, oh no, Johnny Depp beat up some cupboards once and he smashed the glass or something. He poured a mega pint of wine. But yeah, no, let, let's jump ahead to a plane incident. Uh, the plane incident, we're not entirely sure which one it is. Is it the new to the canon uh, Russia plane flight? Whereas this is so many terrible things have happened that uh, we can't quite keep our, keep our story straight on this one. Or is this the Boston to New York plane flight, which uh, one thing was alleged and another thing might have happened and there's different retellings about it. But hey, this is recorded a little bit closer to the time. So maybe we'll get a clear recitation of events. You're never the one coming to me and saying, let's not fight anymore. You're never the one saying, come, just get into bed, let's not go to bed, mad like that. On the plane, it was me. In Toronto, it was me. It's always me. On the plane, here from, uh, from Rio, you, don't you were losing your marbles. Hey, I'm the one who came to you and said, listen, calm down, please calm down. And you were blaming this is a new one, okay? There's a plane flight to Rio or, or Toronto. There's an event that's in Toronto. Johnny didn't bring that up again. I guess at some point or another, you're just beating a dead horse. But um, ought to be fair, nobody actually ever hit Amber. So me, <coughs> because your flight was going to get in late and you wouldn't be able to have time before your thing. Judging from their trip to Rio in September. Let's just get a little background on this, buddy. will break it down for us here and. Um, yeah, give us some background, because there's a plane flight to Rio or some shit like that? I don't fucking quite know. Because your flight was going to get in late and you wouldn't be able to have time before your thing. Judging from their trip to Rio in September of 2015, this could have been around the time Amber was auditioning for the role of Mira in the movie Aquaman, a role she would be confirmed to get in early 2016. And it makes sense that if she lost her marbles and beat up Johnny on the plane, that she could have been freaking out over maybe perhaps missing the audition or something, but who knows. You ditched me last night, and I understand. I understand. How shitty. That guy. I understand my partner. I'm not, I need to know what we need to do different. I need to know. It's gotta be done with your mind and your heart. What do we do different if I have a problem? You tell need me. to tell me how to tell you tell different me. if I'm hurting you. You need to let me be able to be mad. Sometimes we have a problem or we're having a fight. You need to tell me how to tell you that there's a problem. I'm being an incorrigible cunt, but you have to tell me when I'm being that. What the fuck? Anyways. You're gonna make me mad. I'm a human. I cannot live where it's like. Well, then it's the same thing goes for me then. You're gonna have to allow me to get mad. Yes, exactly. It, okay, I, but I, I get mad and then you start fucking yelling. I, I, I don't have to start yelling. I think I'll start yelling once it gets fucking heightened. I've gotten a lot better about that. It's just only, no, I only start no. yelling when it's fucking hour 11 and we're really in it. Yeah, you, you haven't gotten better about that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had three physical fights in the last month and a half. Just talking about the yelling. Let's both pay attention to how we, how we talk to each other. Um, to respect each other. I, you know, we're not going to do that all the time. Sometimes we're going to be shitty or whatever. Of but can we make a promise to each other about the rings and the divorce? No rings, no divorce. We promise each other. Um, Please, I, I want so bad. So he's saying we're headed for divorce. But then again, Amber's also testified that Johnny always said that there was no way out of this relationship. The only way out is death. But he's already talking about this is just before they end up filing ultimately. Well, she end up, ends up ultimately filing for divorce after, you know, the realization that $650 million might have been, you know, what pissed away by some you know, nefarious actors in this situation, realizing that the security is not entirely there and that there's an easy way to cash out by just being another one of those blood sucking leeches that's out there. But interesting. The only way out is death. Eh, you know what, it looks like that was maybe a little bit more negotiable. Those were more like guidelines, really. There's a couple more just uh, blatant admissions of, oh yes, uh, Amber hit Johnny. I think we've pretty much established that this time. But again, yeah, I'm going to go back after this. I'm going to listen through all of this just for completion's sake. I'm pretty sure that we're hitting on all the high notes. But here's where the turn for the absolute worst happens, at least in my opinion. All right. I can fucking promise you I'm going you know, to do everything to change. I didn't even come home. I feel like I have nothing to hang on to. There's some sense of marriage or commitment or stability. 
You know, if I can just get up and walk away and spend the night somewhere else. You obviously can't. Yeah, but believe, you, believe it's done if I do that. That's that's, that's not marriage. You, we talked about it. You know why I left. I do know why you left. Stop it real quick before all the fireworks begin but isn't it amazing when they actually have like a a measured conversation the different tone that everybody's having about this okay and i i'm just gonna go and i'm just gonna spend money and then uh, uh, johnny's the far more measured and it's almost like they could come to an amicable solution when you aren't you know at, at operating in such high levels of emotion it's, it's fucking amazing isn't it i'm saying now that i won't do the same thing i mean i, 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 I will not do that i will not fucking leave until Probably. until some rational decision is made if it's the end it's the end of this we can keep going we keep going but yeah mm -hmm. honest, i promise i promise you i hope you can trust me i don't want any loopholes any oh it's okay to leave it's acceptable to do this it's acceptable to say this about like splitting or breaking up or leaving right that's all we should we should we should fall asleep together every night ideally never mad ideally never mad i'd love to say of course you can promise that but i don't I don't know if it's possible. I'd love to strive for it. Yeah, you weren't ready for that last night, for sure. No, I fucked up last night. I'm really sorry. It's affecting not just me, it's affecting our marriage. It's affecting how I trust, how I resent you, how I like you without the it, fight being happening. No, I know. But when I'm not trying to rub your nose in it. I'm just, I feel sometimes like you omit something, you acknowledge it, it'll be beautiful, and then you'll go back on it, kind of in your, like, in the vocabulary after, and then I feel like, wait a second, is he taking it back? You know what I mean? I do know what you mean, but like I said before, like, there's, there's not, I, I don't, I don't have the, I haven't cornered the market on that, you know, when you start the fucking yelling, there's, you know, it, 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 it fucking gets crazy. You know, it gets fucking, it gets fucking crazy. You know, and th that, that makes me not feel, uh, for lack of a better word, safe within the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, understanding of, oh well, it's just nothing. Because if it keeps going, if it's if it's always sort of there, then uh, you know, I worry. Yeah, I fucking worry about the marriage. I worry, how much longer can I deal with this? How much longer can she deal with this? Fuck, man. Mm -hmm. So I've had the same trust issues. I've had the same. Uh, uh, disappointments. I've had the same, you know, maybe maybe not to the degree you have, I, I, I'm assuming, so. I almost feel like we're peering into a marriage counseling session here for a minute. Like, this just sounds like, okay, yeah, we're bickering back and forth. We're really on the edge of just, you know, calling it quits in this situation. And I don't know about you, but uh, I'm tired of like the past three or four physical fights and, you know, going to bed not angry sounds like a great idea, but it really doesn't sound like you're keeping your side of the bargain on this one. We'll continue on for a minute here and then I want to transition to, yeah, yeah, just the final piece of depravity. But, yeah, I, I man, when you start, when you start fucking honking, you know what I mean? It's, it's, no, it's pretty, it's pretty, it pretty, call pretty, me out on it and help me. I will, I will help try. Me, like, you might not even realize I'm doing it, you've got to help me. I but we can't, can't be an excuse to leave. Wait, if I try to help you and I can't help you, I say, baby, I'm taking an hour, I'm in my fucking office. It's, yes. yes. If you want to talk, you want to come get me, otherwise I'll come check on you in an hour. So that doesn't at all sound like somebody who really wants help now, is it? No, okay, cool. It's always your problem and all that stuff. No, that's great. But you should tell me when uh, you can't prob or possibly tell me when I'm in the wrong, right? No, yeah, okay, cool. Co of course, yeah. This right here is the audio that will absolutely make your skin crawl. This is what sealed the deal for me. Probably a lot of other people out there. Now, I've slowed it down. I've still sped it up a little bit. It's only a two-minute long clip. This was played in court. But also, if, if the Johnny Depp team has any balls, this is what they should finish it out with. Because I wasn't in the courtroom. Okay, I didn't hear any reports of the people who were in the courtroom at the time when this was played. But there is no way, no way in hell that this would have tracked well for literally anybody. This was fucking disturbing. So... Set it up enough. Might as well fucking let it play. <laughs> oh, I'm right. I don't regret. I don't regret. <laughs> oh, what else? I don't what else are you? Oh, come I, on. I don't regret. Come I don't on. Regret. Lady, what else? What else other things do you want to add? You talk to fucking lie to you. Oh, no, I want to know. Yeah, I want to know. Get out of your Uber, I'm going to wait. You go get it. <laughs> yeah, I'll be wait, is there no other place for you to run in your 15 other houses to go run? Come on, go be a real married man. Go deal with your shit the way that a man does. Go run to the next house. I wish I knew Every man does. Yeah. Go. Don't run away. I know it's hard to look at yourself. Your fucking ridiculous plan. Your hard. panic fucking plan. It's hard. It's hard. Screwing everybody else Poor over. Thing. Getting You're right. fucking. I That's what I do. <laughs> you almost spoiled fucking breath. <laughs> and you got everybody. The fucking laugh is demonic. It's just. It's, there's no two ways about it.
be out here. Almost full, oh, but it doesn't right. last you're long. Right. I'm I've been sorry. here longer you're than right. you. You've got to figure it out. You don't you have to figure out what you have to <laughs> offer as opposed to going out and getting your kids out. You're right. That's what I do. Well, yeah. <laughs> Okay. You're right. You're right. Back to that. Well, I wonder what we else. <laughs> I wonder what else we can reach for in the last six years. Oh no, it was four years ago. You're right. I'm just doing things. You can. Right. We're loud. No, I'm not laughing. Or, uh, no, matter of fact, I'm not laughing. I'm not. It's oh. serious. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I would have loved to know what banal situation precipitated this fucking demonic outburst. Like, hey, uh, uh, listen, in the future, she's going to be looking for work, and I'm pretty sure OnlyFans or Subway is at least hiring, and those are probably possibilities for her. But yeah, if she would like to play, like, scary clown at the foot of kids' beds, uh, that's an opportunity, okay? I believe we have to continue. I'm sure you can find other things. <laughs> I know, I know. And stripping. Well, there's always that. You can write a book. You can write a book. I know, you can write a book. Oh, is this going to be good for your book? Oh, should I have you sign an ADA for your book? Yeah. Your book. No. Is this going to be good for your book? Is this going to be good for your book? Like, I know, okay, nobody, uh, Johnny hasn't ever admitted to ever doing anything that wasn't violent, at least in a retaliation, okay? Hasn't done anything like that against Amber Heard, but even just hearing this, like, okay, cool, I'm just trying to put myself in that situation. I, I, I'm having very strong inclinations that I wouldn't have been as reserved as Johnny. I'll hey, I'll I have a bad idea. I'll have, I'll have you somewhere of your journal. You don't want to sell out or anything. Let's sell your journal. Oh, wait. It really does go without saying who is the real abuser in this situation. That was, ugh, even just listening to that back again fucking puts me in a bad spot. But I hope we hear it again. I, uh, not, hope is the wrong word. They really should play this again the next time they have an opportunity. Okay, I maybe in the closing, maybe in the closing, just bring this up. It's like, does an abuser or does an abusee taunt the abuser like this? Do they? cackle and demean the accomplishments of the an illustrious decades-long career is anybody gonna read your book is this gonna make for a good book that audio the nobody's gonna believe you because you're a man johnny i johnny dapp am a victim of domestic violence just play back all of the words of amber heard herself nobody can impeach amber heard better than amber heard I think that that's fairly well documented. Even though Camille Vasquez did a hell of a good job in least attempting to try to do it. But we'll see where this week goes. I anticipate fireworks. I anticipate a hell of a lot of spurging. And I don't know what Johnny's going to do on Monday. That's going to be fucking buck wild. But I'm, I'm here for all of it, my guys. And... I'll be recapping it at all. Uh, we'll probably stop or unless something really, really, really crazy happens, it'll just be the recaps for at the end of the day. But outside of all of that, I thank you all very much for the gift of your time. I've been Don Consuelo. I want you to follow your gut and get after it. Take care, everyone.